Hey, folks, my guest today is Eric Frankly. He's the former president of Warner Bros. TV Distribution and the CEO today of Ad Greets, the industry's leading video personalization and ad tech martech platform that is disrupting a $768 billion advertising marketplace. Eric, you ready to take us to the top? Ready to take it to the top with you, Nathan. Good to be I'm back. I'm pumped. Thanks for the invite. I'm pumped. So we were talking before the show. So let's say someone's listening right now with a call between like $5 million and $10 million in revenue. They see these ads on TV. They go, that's that's for big companies. I can't afford that. And they're bad ads anyway. They're not even custom. How can someone with 5 to $10 million bucks in revenue use ad greets to launch custom TV ads? Well, we deploy to 26 channels, which are Facebook and Google and email and app and everything that people have been doing for a while. But the latest twist is in the US, we're now doing this on 100 streaming channels. So for not a great deal of money, you can test for $100,000. And rather than seeing that generic ad, we're now doing very specific ads. So we can tell you where the local store is we're calling out cities. We're telling you uh, what what movie theater can you see Elvis in and at what time and what's the address. So rather than this, and what's happening is we're doubling revenue for these brands just by American adding- software company. Like let's say ClickUp wants to use you to do marketing, 100K test across 22 streaming channels. What might their ad look like on these channels? Right. So their so their ad can look like. Believe it or not, just by calling out a city, town, or village at the beginning of the ad, people are so much more engaged. So, so for example, it would say Santa Monica, Austin, Philadelphia. Have it's you heard text about- on the screen or it's a talking face like me and my lips are augmented? It, it can, no, well, it can be anything anyone wants and it wouldn't be lips being augmented typically um, because that technology is still a little fuzzy. So it can be voiceover. It could be talent on air. So if they were shooting their next commercial, they might say, here are our 60 important cities and we're actually going to have our spokesperson, Nathan, record 60 cities. Oh, I see. And then we push them all out. And then we can make traditional television commercials now interact by adding a QR code. So rather than, and everyone learned how to use QR codes during COVID when we had to, you know, download menus when we would go out to eat. So, yes. so now all of a sudden in the corner, it says scan and you do that and you go right to their info page or whatever that brand wants. So whether you're buying movie tickets or whether you're getting somebody from that click company to reach out and talk to you. And I imagine click, I imagine, sorry, during COVID, you probably saw a lot of expansion, people needing this. I I imagine last time we spoke back in 2018, you had about 17 employees. How many folks today full time? We got about 35 and we're, you know, in New York, LA, Philadelphia, London, Paris, uh, Kuwait City, Sydney, Australia. So, So remote, people are remote. Yeah, I mean, no, we just have offices around the world. And before- You have that many offices with 35 people, that's gotta be expensive. Uh, not, not really. I mean, well, what happened to, you know, some people want to work out of offices and some people are working from home in those cities. So yes, it's a combination of remote and we workish type places I see. Other, other than LA where we have, you know, significant, you know, real office space. Did you but, raise Eric? Did you choose to raise a bunch more money? Last time we chatted, I think you only had a 10, well, not only, but you raised 10.5 million in an angel round in 2011, right? Yeah. So I think we're up to 12 million, but no, we're, okay. we're breaking even and making money now. So, uh, amen, brother. Congratulations. Yeah, so, so that's good, but we're, we're expecting, there's a lot of interest in what we do now as the world has woken up and realized that this is a better mousetrap. So whether it's, you know, giant brands, whether it's giant agencies or whether it's these ad platforms that hire us. So when they sit there and see, oh, these ads make us different than the hundred other channels in town. Oh, what's going on there, YouTube? Good to see you guys. Now imagine this. You love watching these interviews with SaaS founders, but imagine if we took all of the valuation data out from over 2,807 interviews I've done manually. Saves you a lot of time. Well, we've done this. We've built it into the beautiful interface inside of FounderPath. Check this out. I'll show you how you can access this in a second, but you log in, you connect your Stripe account, you see your valuation real time, you can see what it changed over the past 88 days, and even set goals for valuation this year. Now, the secret valuation is there's many different ways to value a SaaS business. So the reason you're going to see three or four different valuations inside of your FounderPath dashboard, this is all free, by the way, is because depending on who's doing the buying of your SaaS company, you're going to get a different valuation. 
A VC is going to pay a different valuation. Private equity firm is different. If you're going to do a minority sale, that's different. And if you sell the whole business, that's a different valuation. You can see all those when I hover over here. All right, so the teal is what a VC would pay. Yellow is what private equity. And red is if you sold the whole thing outright. Now, what's cool about this is this is not built off random data. Again, you guys hear these interviews on YouTube. All these data are built from real-time valuation data points founders share with us on the show. So traction, 1.2 million. Seed round, 3.7 raise. They sold 22% of their business. Go in here and filter by the event. Maybe you only want to see companies that have sold the whole business. Well, here are a bunch that have been acquired, the valuation and the multiple. Maybe you're going out right now and you're raising your seed round. Well, go in here and look at all this recent seed deals that went down, what they raised, what valuation they raised at, and what percent that they sold. There's never been a larger data set of SaaS valuations than what you can get now inside of FounderPath, and we're thrilled to bring it to you. All right, we're gonna go back to the YouTube video here in a second, but if you wanna check this tool out, if you wanna jump in and sign up, you can check it out for free to get your valuation at this link, this link, founderpath.com forward slash products forward slash valuations, or if you go to founderpath.com and hover over products, click on get your valuation here, and go ahead and sign up to give it a whirl. Again, all that valuation data live right inside the platform. I hope to see you there. All right, let's jump back into the interview. But how are you? So like if I'm a big brand, Procter & Gamble selling shampoo, and I want to go into 80 different geos in the US, the hard work for me, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't the hard work to go record 80 videos with the voiceover artists saying Georgia, Wyoming, Texas? I mean, I thought that's what you helped with, but it sounds like that's not yeah. what you do. It is. So the answer is yes. And we've primarily automated the entire process. The only thing we haven't done because the quality hasn't been great enough yet, but we continue to test it and meet all those vendors is yes. So we can build, uh, we did uh, 25,000 versions of an ad for Procter & Gamble. So how so, did you do that? Are you hiring the, the voiceover talent to read the yes. hundreds of different ads? So, so we had 200. So the voice talent called out 224 different cities that we pushed the ad out to. There were three retailers. So we, we would be telling you to either go to Target, CVS, or Walgreens. And there were seven days of the week. And besides uh, that, everything else is graphic. But but there was one ad featured a 20-year-old woman, the next a 30-year-old woman, the next a 40-year-old woman, the next a 50 and 60-year-old woman. And the same thing with men, male voiceover, female voiceover, and all of those different versions added up to 25,000. And what we've done over eight years is take that incredibly robust process and figured out how to get it done you know, in a day or a day and a half for something as bespoke as that. That's wild. Okay. Yeah. And so how do you make, is it just, so you mentioned a hundred thousand dollar test. Are you just charging a take rate on whatever, if someone wants to put through you? Um, well, we're getting, depending on the, we either get paid a flat monthly fee in okay. scenarios where we work for a brand or we're getting paid a percentage of ad spend or an additional CPM added on top of the ad spend, depending on who our partner is and what the relationship. Um, I see. I yeah. see. So you're actively then measuring sort of GMV through ad greets. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're out there typically and or with our partners trying to show how we doubled their e-commerce revenue or how we drove 8% increase at retail or 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 100% um, increase at retail. Will you share how much GMV is going through you today? Um, you mean... Oh, are you talking about ad spend? Or are you talking about how much cash that we're we're bringing? No, in? no, not your not your revenue. Just ad spend through you. Um, yeah, we're probably now. You have to remember in certain cases because we didn't want to disrupt the Apple Cart. Most of our clients already have their media buying agency. So what we really do is we're the personalization strategist, demo maker. Once it's signed off on creating those 100 versions or 25,000 versions, then we work with the media agency and deploy it. And then we automatically optimize and report on it. So I would say that today we're probably at about $50 million worth of media. Um, but Monthly or annually? Just annually. Just annually. annually. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Interesting. And is that the key driver? Is that, what, is that when you guys set annual goals, is that what you want to grow? Is that the key thing? Well, the, the key thing, no, we, well, we have more and more clients 
more and more clients staying longer, so more recurring revenue. And then we have these partnerships. So there's a broadcaster called Nine in Australia. They're the NBC, call it, of, of Australia. So they now have 600 people out selling our product and they're bringing in their first clients because this is a three month old or two month old relationship. We yep. expect that they will deliver tens and tens of millions of dollars. They do 2 billion in revenue and, and we get a very significant or a good, a good portion of that, of that revenue. We have someone in the U S with 62 salespeople and they're out selling. So they're again, facing the same things that we face, which is, Hey, Macy's, Hey, any company USA, let us explain why a personalized version is better. But years later, they're having a great deal of success, but they're still only two or three months. And then we're doing the same thing with people like AMC and Fox and all of these different entities. So as the world embraces it more, there are hundreds and hundreds of salespeople around the world selling our product through our partnership. And how many, that 50 million in GMV that you'll do this year or that you did last year, how many customers was that through? Um, probably 18 to 20 customers. Okay. So you're boutique, you're like a boutique ad agency with a productized ad service, right? You don't have yeah, bad margins. Say, yeah. I mean, we're, we, yes. And the, the, you know, rather than shooting a new commercial, we're taking their existing commercial and coming up with a strategy to produce and deploy a hundred or 20,000 versions or a million if it's email and, uh, and go out of things that look like letters and things that look like print ads and make them into things that are compelling that people engage with and that are activated by. And Eric, when we spoke back in 2018, you shouted, uh, you know, you had, you know, 10, 11 customers. You told me you did about 2 million in revenue then. Are you still around that range or are you much bigger now? Uh, we're going to do, we'll do, we'll do uh, close to 10 million with, oh, you know, wow. with, 20, with 20 plus uh, clients this year. Yeah. That's and great. Now, and because we hit the 10 million mark, now people start. Um, you know, start coming in and saying, you know, you've passed this hurdle and we'd like to talk to you about investment opportunities. And, or and buying you, would you sell the company? Sure. But I don't think we'll probably sell until we, you know, probably quadruple the revenue. But again, you're not looking for a standard buyer. You're looking for a strategic buyer, yep. you know? So as we start to do this for Fox, you know, Rupert Murdoch can wake up one day and says, this differentiates my entire business. I want to own this thing and, 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 and pay more than just your, your, your typical multiple against it. Is that the plan? Because strategically, well, him and a hundred other people that were work, you know, that were in various um, phases of working with. Yeah. yeah that's very imp impressive. 10 million revenue with 35 employees is 285,000 in revenue per employee, which is double most VC backed companies. So you're running a very efficient operation. And by the way, and a lot of them are consultant types, not a lot, but a half a dozen are the former president of Warner Europe, the former president of Warner APAC, the former president of Warner, you know, Latin America, mm -hmm. um, who were huge money earners and now go out and sell to their previous clients. Um, and they get paid on a percentage of revenue for a long term. So if they bring in channel four in the UK, they're getting compensated for quite a long period of time because you can't afford to hire salespeople like yep. that. Because guys, if you if you want to if you want to try these custom ads yourself, check it out adgreets.com. A really compelling way to get ads here in a, in a channel that won't be as competitive as those PPC clicks at the top of Google searches where there's perfect competition. <laughs> Eric, in the meantime, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, last business book that you read. Last business book that I read didn't. Didn't number two is there a didn't you didn't you don't read business books right? No, because I do this from six a.m. I finished last night with Disney Hot Star in India at ten forty-five. So <laughs> then I crashed and got on the phone with my team in Paris this morning. Yeah. Okay. Number two is there a CEO you're following or studying? Well, I I'm, rather than reading you know the books you're talking about, I'm a voracious reader and I read everything I'm primarily addicted to the Apple news feed and all day long to the four people who help me prospect I'm sending them articles and stories and so on so the answer is you know I I look at everyone but it's not like oh Elon Musk I'm in love with him or something like that I'm looking for anything that's interesting and then what we do is write them letters and a huge percentage say, I'd like to know more. And then we meet with them with the goal Smart of- Smart strategy. Them. Number three, Eric, besides AdGreets, what's your favorite online tool for building the business? Um, the simplest, least expensive thing I've ever wandered upon, Rebump. 
Have you heard of it? I, I have. This is in your. This is a very niche tool. Very few people know about this, but it's an email follow up tool. And we used to have a human being. When I wrote a letter to you because you were the CMO of Macy's, Nathan, we would have this human being who a week later would send email number two. A week later, if we had a bird back, three and four, all different emails. And occasionally yep. he would miss, and we paid him a lot of money. And we found a tool. I'm making it up, but I think it's fifteen dollars a month, and it does the best job. And and the percentage of yes, I'd like to meet with you um, through this tool is just you know is just off the charts. Yeah, guys, those of you looking to go buy a SaaS company, by the way, Rebump is like the perfect target. Small but very passionate customers like Eric, and it just gets the job done. Uh, Eric, number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Uh, about six and a half. Okay, and situation: married, single, kids. Um, married with to my same wife um, and uh, grown boys, uh, grown grown boys who live. How many in, kids? Two boys. So I have a 24, no. 28, 28 year old, and my twenty eight year old's first movie is out at the festival circuit now and garnering great reviews. So we're hoping. Oh, fantastic! That he'll get some action on it. Very cool. And how old are you, Eric? Um, I am sixty four years old. Last question, something you wish you knew when you were 20. Um, I don't think I understood that every day, whether you're 20 or whether you're 64, you get smarter and better at what you do. And you know, you don't know it all and you'll never actually know it all. And even the Bill Gateses or the Elon Musks, you know, don't know it all. And you just keep on learning and and becoming a better leader. And uh and that's pretty much it is just just guys enjoy there you have it enjoy every moment every day is a new one adgreets.com will break 10 million in revenue this year with 35 employees really impressive unit economics they're profitable that's up from 5 million revenue just two years ago so healthy growth right here they help you launch hundreds or thousands of customized ads across 22 different streaming channels for as little as a hundred thousand dollars right but multiple variations you can name a, a date a time a a city a location a specific store or, or action you want people to take he's having a lot of success doing this right now with about 20 enterprise clients looking to scale eric thanks for taking us to the top Good to see you, Nathan. Good luck to you. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live, and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right. I'll be in the comments. See ya.